So today I'm going to be going over how to make mountains bigger. I, in a sense, went over this in my Photoshop course on chapter 5 with Creative Warping. But during the Creative Warping, this is actually a different tool. It's similar, but it is different. It's a lot easier. It's a super, super quick, maybe like 5-10 seconds per photo. Um, not many photos need it. Um, this is, to set it straight, this is photo manipulation. Um, so if you're a naturalist, I'm sorry, this is just a tutorial. Um, I actually don't use this too much anymore, although I have used it in the past, but it is a cool tool. And once you know it, you can use it for, I mean, anything you want, really. Um, so to dive right in, I'm gonna first do Command J on my background layer. This first photo is from Charmony in France, in the French Alps. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my rectangular marquee tool, and I'm gonna make a selection from the top of the photo to the base of the mountain I want to make bigger. Just pretty much right there. And the less stuff in this line, the better. So like blank, just snow, that's good. That kind of is blendable. Snow, that I would prefer if it was just snow there, but it's fine, and then the rest of this is fine. So it's really just here, but I mean, it'll just make the difference of how easy it is and if you have to do any extra blending or anything like that. But the tool for pretty much making the mountains bigger is I only selected this because I only want these peaks to be bigger and to maybe fill up some of this empty sky. Down here is fine, nothing wrong with that. So that's why I just selected this so I don't affect the whole photo. Then I'm gonna come down to, uh, to edit and then free transform. And all I'm gonna do is pull this up as much as I want. And I mean, you can go as crazy with it as you want. I'm going to do that and deselect so you can see it. And it looks honestly crazy. I think it's pretty rad personally, um, but it looks really crazy. So if you see the before, you're like, oh, wow, like you really changed that photo. And I mean, you can see that. That's before. That's after. Like huge difference. But, you know, to each their own, I think this is a super sick tool. And if you didn't know that that was kind of stretched and... Uh, I made the mountains bigger, like you wouldn't know unless you've been to Charmony, France and you know this mountain to heart, which I, I don't even know which mountain this is. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna kind of do that quickly for each uh, photo. I've got five photos here, just kind of to show you where I make my selection points on a different series of photos. Uh, so this was taken in Luke, Switzerland, under Command J. And I'm gonna grab my rectangular marquee tool. Same thing, sky, a little bit empty, could be filled out. Um, as far as this photo on Instagram, it actually cropped really nicely because I got to take out some of that sky and the whole composition was full. But I can see why someone might want to make this a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is bring this all the way down to the base of these trees. Ideally, it would be here, but if you stretch half of a tree, it would look quite weird. So not going to do that. I'm going to come to edit, free transform. Sorry if you hear any background noise. I am at a hotel in St. George, Utah. I'm just gonna stretch this. This one, see if you did that, that would that would look weird, you know, uh, especially with these trees being fine and this one kind of be an extra stretch. So for this one, that's normal. If anything, I would just do maybe that and then maybe I would use some other selection tools to maybe just make this part of the mountain bigger. Uh, which I can go into in other tutorials because that's a few different other tools. I just want to stick this to the free transform tool. See before, after, just a little bit of a bump. Same thing here, make a copy. I already have the tool selected. And for this, I, again, actually, for the photo itself composition, um, very empty sky that could definitely be filled, even though the sky is interesting in this photo. For this, there's so many patterns in the snow. Patterns are super easy when you're doing stuff like this. Um, so I just, I wanna keep this canyon and this waterfall as is um, and just stretch the top of the volcano, maybe a little bit of mountains here, a little bit of mountains here, but that's it. And the shortcut also, just so you know, for free transform tool is Command T, so you don't even need to go to the edit panel. Just gonna pull this guy up, oh, enter, Command D to deselect. And to be honest, <laughs> with Iceland conditions, this sky looks very normal. Even if it is stretched, like, I don't know. This is exactly how conditions can be in Iceland on a whim. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I genuinely think if you didn't know that this was stretched, you wouldn't know. Uh, but there's the before and after. And if you even really wanted to, you could probably get away with more on this one. 
and just see what this looks like. Like that starts to get a little too crazy. I mean, you could get away with it because <laughs> to be honest, Iceland is wild and you could probably get away with it. anything. Uh, but in my opinion, that's a little unnecessary. So that little bump I think is plenty. So the last photo, here's one I took at Grinnell Glacier in Glacier National Park, Montana. Just gonna make a copy of the background layer. And for this one, it really doesn't need it. These peaks are really jagged, really sharp, and just really distinct in on their own. But just for purposes of the tutorial, I'll make a selection. I'm gonna try to keep it above the lake. The lake goes back here. So maybe there, and then I'm just going to kind of wander my eyes across my selection, see if I think there's going to be any issues where I am. I don't think so. We'll see. Command T. And... Boom. Command E to deselect. I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to just double check in case I see any weird blending or something comes off wrong and then I would fix it. Everything looks good, so good, good, sorry. Everything looks good so far. Not seeing any areas or any lines of maybe where it didn't go right. Yeah, no, I think that that's perfect. We don't need to do any blending or anything to fix anything. And that, I mean, the photo was already crazy, but that just takes it to the next level. So I'll show you before, after. And it really, I mean, this is kind of like a lot of open space and like I was just on the edges of the lake, so it's kind of off balance. But I feel like with this, it really fits because it's like a little in the bottom and just a little at the top. And like the really, the bulk of the photo is letting uh, it speak for itself. One more before and after, and that's it. So I hope this tutorial helped. Um, this is just kind of in depth how to use the free transform tool with my intent to show you guys how to make mountains bigger. But like I said, Photoshop is very versatile. Yeah, you can use it for anything. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you could, please like and subscribe for more. Got lots more on the way. If you have any specific requests, please just let me know. Thank you guys.